My name is John Serrano from the Health Workforce Technical Assistance Center. The objective of today's training video is to use ArcGIS to find healthcare providers within a 60 minute radius. To do this, we'll create a travel polygon using the network analysis tool. In this video, we will introduce the concept of network analysis, review the street datasets and create a cost variable, create a network dataset, create a travel polygon using the network analyst tool, identify providers in the travel polygon, and export the data. First, let's discuss the concept of network analysis. Network analysis is a method used to describe, measure, and understand the spatial relationship between two points which are connected by a series of lines. Network analysis requires a specific type of dataset called a network dataset, which is composed of interconnected lines and points. For example, one common use of network analysis is to identify the shortest path between point A and point B using a street network dataset. Street network datasets are primarily used to identify travel patterns of individuals using common methods of transportation, such as cars. The dataset contains line segments representing streets and points representing addresses. Each street segment has properties such as length, speed limit, and direction. Ultimately, network analysis is capable of identifying the shortest distance between two points using a series of interconnected lines. Network analysis is used in many industries and sectors to define service areas, identify potential customers, and find an optimal location for a site. In health workforce planning, network analysis is a useful tool for evaluating access to healthcare providers. For the purposes of this video, we will focus on identifying providers who are located within a 60 minute travel time from the center of a health professional shortage area, also known as a HIPSA, in the state of Ohio. We will use the ArcGIS Network Analyst tool to perform the analysis on a street network dataset for Ohio. This type of analysis is especially useful for primary care officers who develop HIPSAs because one of their responsibilities when developing a HIPSA is to identify the nearest source of care outside of the HIPSA. For our analysis, we will use three different datasets. First, we will use a point dataset containing the geographic centroid of a HIPSA in Ohio. The geographic centroid refers to the center of the HIPSA, and the travel polygon we are developing will be based on the streets originating from this point. Second, we will use a street network dataset for Ohio, which will allow us to measure the travel time. This dataset was downloaded from the ESRI website, which is available to the public. Third, we will use a point dataset containing the location of providers. Let's take a look at the street dataset and create a cost variable. In the street datasets table of attributes, we can see each street segment displayed as a single row and the street's attributes displayed as columns. Street attributes include the name, type, location information, speed limit, and more. To create a travel polygon, we need to create a cost variable that functions as the impedance. The cost variable represents the cost of travel and can be expressed in terms of money, time, or other factors. In our case, we need to create a cost variable that represents the number of minutes it takes to travel along a street segment given its speed limit. First, let's create a new length variable which we will use to create our cost variable. Since the current length values are in meters, we need to create a new variable representing the length of each segment in mile values. To do so, click on the table options, select add field, name the variable miles, select double for the type and click OK. Now let's calculate the length in miles based on the existing length variable. Right click the newly created variable, Miles, select Calculate Geometry, and make sure the length is selected in the Property field to calculate length values. In the Coordinate System field, you can see that the coordinate system NAD 1983 Zone 17 is selected which is the proper zone for the state of Ohio. In the Units drop menu, select Miles US 
and click OK. Now I can see the lengths of each segment in miles under the miles variable. Now let's create the cost variable which will be named minutes. In the table options, select add field, name the variable, select double for the type and click OK. Next, we need to calculate the minutes it takes to travel each street segment. Right click the newly created variable, select field calculator, select the variable representing the length of the street in miles, which is miles, divide it by the variable representing the speed limit, which is speed, and multiply it by 60 to display time in minutes. Once the calculation is complete, we can see that the minutes variable represents the number of minutes it takes to travel each street. Now let's create a network dataset, which is a specific type of dataset used in the network analysis tool and includes the cost variable that we created. We first need to make sure that the network analyst extension is enabled. Click customize on the top panel, extension, and select the Network Analyst extension to ensure that it is enabled. Next, add the Network Analyst toolbar to the main toolbar. To do that, click Customize on the top panel, Toolbars, and select Network Analyst. Next, right-click on the Street Dataset folder in the ARC Catalog menu, New, in Network Dataset. In the new window, name the dataset Street Network Dataset and click Next. Select Ohio Streets and Next. Make sure that Yes is selected and click Next. You can modify the connectivity between multiple datasets in the Network Dataset. However, we will keep the current settings since we have only one dataset and click Next. In the next window, make sure that the correct variables are selected if the dataset has elevation variables. Next, we can see that the cost variable we create, minutes, is already defined as the cost variable that functions as impedances over the network. Click Next. Next again. Keep the current settings and click Next again. We will leave the service areas index unchecked and click Next again. And finally, click Finish. Once the network dataset is created, we are ready to conduct the 60-minute travel polygon analysis. We will use the service area method to create a travel polygon using the network analyst tool. To do so, click network analyst on the network analyst toolbar and click new service area. The service area analysis layer is added to the network analyst window. Next, we will add the HIPSA Centroid dataset as the point of origin for the travel polygon. To do so, open Network Analyst window, right-click Facilities on the Network Analyst menu, choose Load Locations, select the HIPSA Center dataset in the Load From field, and click OK. Click the Service Area Properties button on the Network Analyst window to choose the settings from our analysis. In the Layer Properties dialog box, click the Analysis Settings tab. Make sure that Impedance is set to Use Minutes. And type 60 in the Default Breaks text box to set a 60-minute travel time. In the Polygon Generation tab, make sure that Polygon Generation is checked. Select Generalized in the Polygon Type. And uncheck the Trim Polygon option. Since we have a single origin point, the selections in the Multiple Facilities Options, or Overlap Type, will not affect our analysis. Next, click the Solve button on the Network Analyst Toolbar. This will result in a new map layer that is a 60-minute travel polygon radiating from the HIPSA centroid based on the street networks. To review travel polygons, right-click Polygons in the Service Area dataset and select Open Attribute Table. Each row in the table represents a 60-minute travel polygon. 
Now that we have the travel polygon, we can perform two summaries to identify providers within the travel polygons. In the first summary, the total counts of providers located in each travel polygon is calculated. To do so, right-click Polygons, Join and Relates, Join, select Join data from another layer based on spatial location, choose the layer Providers to join, check the sum to calculate the total number of providers located within each travel polygon, select the folder and name the output, click Save and OK. The newly created layer includes the counts of providers who are located within 60 minutes travel time. In the second summary, the information of each travel polygon is joined to each provider who fall within the polygon. To do so, right-click Providers, Join and Relates, Join, select Join data from another layer based on spatial location. Choose the layer Polygons to join. Check the first option that will join each provider to the polygon. Select the folder and name the output. Click Save and OK. The newly created layer includes the original data about the provider along with the newly joined attributes from the travel polygons. Each one of the newly created datasets can be exported and used in other applications. In addition to provider selection, you can add the new layer, Travel Polygon, onto a different map or create a new map visualizing the HIPSA with several travel polygons, each with different travel time ranges. This analysis utilized the service area method. However, different analyses can be performed with the Network Analyst tool to assess access to healthcare such as the closest facility, origin destination cost matrix, and location allocation methods. To recap, let's review the steps to create a travel polygon using the Network Analysis tool in ArcGIS. First, import the appropriate datasets that are required for the analysis, including the point dataset with the location of the providers, the point dataset with the HIPSA centroid, and the network dataset. Second, convert the length values from meters to miles in the network dataset. Third, Create a cost variable that is based on the miles length variable. Fourth, create a network dataset. Fifth, run the network analyst tool using the service area method to calculate the travel polygon. And finally, select the providers who are located within the 60 minutes travel polygon. If you have any questions regarding the content of this video or need further assistance, please contact Nafeen Haroon at n. Haroon at albany.edu. This video is part of a series on using GIS for health workforce research. This series was developed by the Health Workforce Technical Assistance Center, which is part of the Center for Health Workforce Studies at the University at Albany.